हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडेज टॉपिक इज शिफ्ट इन डिमांड कर्व एंड मूवमेंट अलॉन्ग डिमांड कर्व हेयर वी हैव दिस बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑन द वर्टिकल एक्सेस वी हैव टेकन प्राइस ऑफ आइसक्रीम कोन एंड ऑन द हॉरिजोंटल एक्सेस वी हैव टेकन क्वांटिटी ऑफ आइसक्रीम कोन्स इनिशियल प्राइस इज ओ पी एंड इनिशियल क्वांटिटी इज ओ क्यू एंड हेयर वी हैव दिस इनिशियल डिमांड कर्व now if price of ice cream cone remains same at op however the quantity of ice cream cones increases as you can see in this way so quantity of ice cream cones has been increased from oq to oq1 however the price of ice cream cone remains same at op this will lead to shift in demand curve and as you can see that there has been a rightward shift in demand curve so this will be referred as increase in demand any change that raises the quantity that buyers wish to purchase at any given price is called an increase in demand and this leads to rightward shift in demand curve now price is op and quantity is oq if price remains same at op however quantity of ice cream cones reduces as you can see in this way so the quantity of ice cream cones has been reduced from oq to oq1 however there is no change in price of ice cream cone so this will lead to leftward shift in demand curve in this way and this will be referred as decrease in demand any change that lowers the quantity that buyers wish to purchase at any given price is called a decrease in demand and this leads to leftward shift in demand curve variables affecting shift in demand curve first one is income then prices of related goods taste and preference of consumer expectations and number of buyers so let's start with the first factor that is income in case of income we read about two types of goods normal good and inferior good suppose that income of the consumer increases in that case demand for normal good will be increased however demand for inferior good will be reduced so normal good is a case of increase in demand right so there will be a rightward shift in demand curve and in this case we will draw this type of diagram which shows leftward shift in demand curve that is a decrease in demand this is the opposite scenario in which the income is reduced which leads to reduction in demand for normal good however the demand for inferior good will be increased clear if the demand for a good falls when income falls the good is called a normal good so basically there is a direct relationship between income of a consumer and demand for a good in case of normal good if the demand for a good rises when income falls the good is called an inferior good so there is an inverse relationship between income of the consumer and demand for a good in case of inferior good an example of an inferior good might be bus rides as your income falls you are less likely to buy a car or take a cab and more likely to ride a bus next variable is price of related goods related goods can be of two types substitutes or complements substitutes are often pairs of goods that are used in place of each other 
such as hot dogs and hamburgers, sweaters and sweatshirts, and movie tickets and video rentals. So that can be used in place of each other. Complements are often pairs of goods that are used together to satisfy a given want, such as gasoline and automobiles, computers and software, peanut butter and jelly. In case of substitutes, fall in price of one good reduces the demand for another good. So there is a direct relationship between price of one good and demand for another good in case of substitutes. And in case of complements, fall in price of one good raises the demand for another good. That is inverse relationship between price of one good and demand for another good in case of complements. Let's first discuss the case of substitutes and we have taken the example of sweaters and sweatshirts. Suppose that price of sweater increases. In this case, people will shift from sweater to sweatshirts because they will find sweatshirts more attractive, right? As the price of sweater has been increased, so the demand for sweater will be reduced. However, the demand for sweatshirts will be increased. So this diagram will be drawn. Here we have written price of sweatshirt. This is quantity of sweatshirts. And as you can see that the demand curve for sweatshirts has been shifted towards right from D to D1. There is an increase in demand. Clear? Second case, price of sweater is reduced. So in this case, people will purchase more sweaters and that is the reason demand for sweatshirts will be reduced. So there is a leftward shift in demand curve for sweatshirts. Simple. Next we see the case of complements and we have taken the example of gasoline and automobiles. Suppose that price of gasoline increases. In that case, demand for automobiles will be reduced. So there, there will be a leftward shift in demand curve. We have written price of automobile on the vertical axis and quantity of automobiles on the horizontal axis. Second case, if price of gasoline reduces, then demand for automobiles will be increased. That is a rightward shift. So as you can see, there is an inverse relationship between price of one good and demand for another good in case of complements. Clear? Next variable that affect the shift in demand curve is taste and preference of a consumer. The most obvious determinant of your demand is your taste. If you like ice cream, you buy more of it. Economists normally do not try to explain people's taste because tastes are based on historical and psychological forces that are beyond the realm of economics. Economists do however examine what happens when tastes change. So one is favorable change in taste and preference and the other is unfavorable change. So when there is a favorable change in taste and preference, definitely the demand will be increased and there will be a rightward shift in demand curve. However, when there is unfavorable change in taste and preference of a consumer, then there will be a leftward shift in demand curve. That is a decrease in demand. Next variable is expectations. Your expectations about the future may affect your demand for a good or service today. Example 1. If you expect to earn a higher income next month, you may choose to save less now and spend more of your current income buying ice cream. So basically your current demand for ice cream will be increased because you are expecting to earn a higher income next month. So you will save less now and spend more of your current income buying ice cream. So this is a case of increase in demand. Example 2. If you expect the price of ice cream to fall tomorrow, you may be less willing to buy an ice cream cone at today's price 
definitely you will be willing to purchase ice cream at a lower price right so basically your current demand for ice cream will be reduced so this is a case of leftward shift in demand curve that is a decrease in demand next variable is number of buyers If Peter were to join Catherine and Nicholas as another consumer of ice cream, the quantity demanded in the market would be higher at every price and market demand would increase. In simple words, if number of buyers increases, then the total market demand will also be increased. And if number of buyers decrease, then the total market demand will also be reduced. Simple. So we have read all the variables that can affect shift in demand curve that is income, price of related goods, taste and preference of consumer, expectations and number of buyers. Now we will look at variable affecting movement along demand curve and there is only one variable that can affect movement along demand curve which is price of the good itself. So let's first see the case of increase in quantity demanded or you can say expansion of demand or extension of demand. So initially the price is OP and quantity is OQ. Now suppose that price of ice cream cone reduces from OP to OP1 then definitely the quantity of ice cream cone will be increased. As you can see it is increased from OQ to OQ1. now we will join this and this is our demand curve so basically it shows the movement from point a to point b which is a downward movement so downward movement represents increase in quantity demanded or expansion of demand or extension of demand clear second case decrease in quantity demanded or you can say contraction of demand so suppose that price of ice cream cone increases from OP to OP1, in that case quantity of ice cream cones will be reduced. So it has been reduced from OQ to OQ1. This is our demand curve and in this case movement from point A to point B shows an upward movement. So upward movement represents decrease in quantity demanded or contraction of demand. Clear? This table lists the variables that affect how much consumers choose to buy of any good. Notice that a change in goods price represents a movement along demand curve whereas a change in one of the other variables shifts the demand curve. Thank you.